you know, a lot of work is, is revolved around um, tower pathways. And um, so what types of dementias do they actually relate to? So tau is involved with dementias, uh, about probably about uh, most types of dementia. So, let, me, so let me put it this way, about half rule or half, um, half something that's explicitly wrong with tau where you have reason to believe when I think about things, I always, I'm a fix it guy. I'm always like, well, I want to work on something where if I can tweak it, I think I can fix it. Mm -hmm. And so, so tau is involved in about half of the dementias where you look at it and you say, well, if I tweak that, I think that might make a, might, might help. So, um, and, but when someone like me thinks about um, uh, dementia, what we actually think about, I think about kind of, two things. I think about real estate, um, location, and and I think about kind of what makes things, how things work. So so the tau tells me how things work. The term dementia tells me the real estate, because dementia means this part, your what we call your cortex. Um, but it turns out a lot of times that the what's going wrong is the same as Things that that go that might cause a motor a problem with movement, but that's just a different part of your brain, different real estate, different location. So um, I have another part of my work looks at a slightly different protein called TDP43. Well, that builds up in your spinal cord. If you don't have your spinal cord, you can't move, right? That's called Lou Gehrig's disease or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Fine. It also builds up in Alzheimer's disease. Mm -hmm. So, but in Alzheimer's disease, it doesn't build up here. It builds up exactly where tau builds up, the cortex. So, memory, 